I have called this press conference the second this year. Uh, it is testimony that we are going to have a very busy year. And this uh, press conference is what I call demand driven. I will, uh, for me, I have specific policy briefs that I was going to give every often, but based on the circumstances. So I, I decided to, to respond to these issues. In fact, I was out of town. I hurriedly cut my trip short because there are certain developments that must not go in an election year without challenge. We have no shame, no reservation in saying that an election year is a different year. Whatever happens in an election year must be subject to commentary. So it reads the statement by Senator Hassan Omar, that's myself, Senator Mombasa County, issued in Mombasa on 10th January 2017. It is captioned, the politics of guns, that is Mombasa County today. This is the only county that is constantly discussing the number of guns, who, who has which, how many guns. You don't hear issues of development, you hear guns, we are bunduki, we are saying hatoi bunduki, you are saying bunduki zake, you are saying bunduki zake zregeshewe. Yeah, it's the kind, that's, the, that's why I say, did you hear this in any other county? Do you hear this in Migori? Do you hear this in Meru? Do you hear this in Nairobi? So this is, that's why I say this is an election year 2017. It is incumbent that residents of this great metropolis stay the political cause. Last year we accepted these diversions. This year we are not going to accept them. It is in this spirit and letter that I make this communication. I issue this communication with great nostalgia of a city great in history and a people rich in civilization and diversity are fixed on a path of a sure and steady decline. Okay, on your conversation, Zetu, just know we are on a decline. If we told our ancestors that in our time that we live in, we will engage in endless cat and mouse of a president commissioning a footbridge and an endless conversation of who funded a cliche development, a footbridge, Pesas is using Toluana World Bank, so using Toluana Nani, who cares? And the guns of our governor, the hysteria to those ancestors will not be easy to imagine. They will be so emotional. If such were a state of affairs, then it is evidence of a society in turmoil and decline. It is in such times that good men and women must present the rare opportunity of leadership and despite the adversity, lead the masses to the promised land. The attempt to engage us in sideshows, bravados, theatrics, melodrama, and the politics of escort officers and guns is a diversionary attempt to steer the focus away from the conversation of two non-performing entities, that is the national government and the county government of Mombasa. The melodrama of our politics took a further interesting twist yesterday based on, a, on a, a, accusations of removal of traffic marshals from major traffic arteries in, of Mombasa and the denial of the same by the policing authority. This cat and mouse theatrics and child play must stop. Oh, mimi nantoa, mimi skutoa, iko hapi written, on namba ya simu, sijui nini. We have patronized the, the life of our county so badly, patronized it, eh? responding to shadows. Eh? The residents of Mombasa must steer the conversation to the performance and policies of those who have been in charge at both national and county levels of government. The national government needs to demonstrate their investment in our overstretched infrastructure in Mombasa that has experienced minimal growth since independence, not footbridges. It needs to demonstrate. Leo, Lile footbridge by Lelpoekwa, that should have been a Deca highway. 50 years on, you don't build a footbridge and call that development. And uh, both the county government and the national government are, are competing on who is building a footbridge. It needs, that is the national government, to demonstrate their commitment towards fighting corruption 
and how it has embraced constitutionalism. They need to demonstrate the policy framework and actual numbers in poverty reduction and expanding employment opportunities. The national governments need to demonstrate results in their investment in tourism sector, combating the drug menace, curbing the growing insecurity, measures to address radicalization and violent extremism, addressing challenges of landlessness and the overall question of land in Mombasa and the coast region, marginalization, stinging ethnicization and other forms of, of inequalities. It also needs to demonstrate what it has been doing or is doing to improve the state of education in the county. These, among others, are the issues and conversations that are critical to the residents of Mombasa. The conversation on the county government must be about its performance this year. What are the budget priorities? Are we spending enough or at all on the most fundamental mandates? Is basic service delivery, particularly with respect to garbage management and county sanitation, functional? Are issues of dignity and social justice, which form the core of, our, of the county mandate, at the core of their planning? Where is the county socio-economic plan that attempts to put dignity in the lives of our people? Where is the county's deliberate investment in water services, efficiency rather than mere infrastructure in provision of health services, and why is the county privatizing through sale public housing? Those are the issues. What has the county done towards youth and talent development? How have the endless cultural festivals and other festivals, be they Sambusa, Kababu, Samaki, Visheti festivals, among others, and the endless music concerts of foreign artists led to actual quantifiable progress in the county? What new investment has the county attracted as a deliberate strategy? And where is the investment blueprint as a consequence of the deliberate strategy? What strategies has the county put in place to bridge the deficit in the budget? What have we done to boost the tourism sector? And where is the nexus with the local business community? Why is the cost of doing business in Mombasa the highest in the country and even for small-scale traders? Why is the high cost of taxation not reflected in the service delivery? Why is corruption and favoritism the mainstay of county government? These, among others, are the issues and conversations which we are important to the resident of Mombasa, not when and where a credit facility by World Bank was made available. We tafuta yako, kwa Mombasa yako, tafuta pia development yako. Sindu yobana? This being an election year, these questions must refuse to go away. The diversionary tactics must be exposed. I wish to caution the residents of Mombasa County if we do not keep focus on the core issues, the issues that will face us in the elections and upon which elections might be decided, are unfortunately the frequency in pseudo bravado, grandstanding, foot bridges, guns, and escort officers. This will be a tragedy. To settle this matter, it is reasonable to demand that governors Amazon Kingi and Hassan Ali Joho have their security reinstated with immediate effect as per the guidelines issued by the Office of the Inspector General, which entitles all governors and senators to one escort officer and four officers to guard their residences. One escort officer and four officers to guard their residences. Wengine wapelekwe wakalinde wananchi. We, we cannot concern with ourselves with the security of only a, a couple of individuals, senator and a governor, and I am members of the National Assembly. We must concern ourselves with the security of all. When you withdraw 15 security members, you are jeopardizing the collective security of our people. 15 members, 15 armed officers is a police post. Any allocation, any allocation in excess of these provisions must have a reasonable justification as to the specific threat and circumstances. Kwanini, wewe, watishwa sana, mpaka wewe uwe na police officers kumna nane, ama kumna thano, nane akutishaye, na kwanini akutisha. I reiterate that this matter, that's why I'm, I'm talking with this audacity, must be put to rest. Further, this was a conversation I was going to have in March 
but since it is now here, Wajua when you are facing an election here, there are certain concerns that you raise, eh? and this is a concern. I will also be demanding the audit of number of firearms licensed to private citizens that often form a further condon of firepower around competing political advisor, adversaries. I want to know how many firearms are in the hands of Awiti and his friends and his family and his brothers. I want to know how many firearms are in the hands of Hassan Joho and his friends and his brothers, or Suleiman Shahbal and his friends and his brothers, or Hassan Omar and his friends and his brothers and cronies. Wajua hiwa tuingine kubijipiga kifua, sio kwa mba mashuja, mba mbeba bundukimbili moja hapa na moja guhuni. Ushuja wao, ukiwa provoke wa tato kutolea gani wa kupointie. You get the point? So, there must be decorum and order in the conduct of the forthcoming election in Mombasa County and Kenya at large. Traffic marshals, kumalizia. Kila ni mpigia urongo. Ani napigiwa misi, muntakonesha namba. Hizi stories za kimaskani na mashisha jamatu wateni. An order from is only valid when it is in writing. Don't don't commit us to side shows. Kila siku mataka order in writing. Leo bona munsema munaambiwa kwa simu. Na nyinyi hao marshals wamwafanyani watu hata wale marshals wengine hawatopigia joho kura. Wateni wanyewe maskini waendelee na kazi zao. Kwani hawajua wale wengine? Wara wa kuzuia gari ah shekhe twa sota usijali tuwe pita utaona uko mbele. Hamjambiwa nyinyi hao na marshals wangapi? So, it is reasonable to demand that governors Amazon Kingi and Hassan Ali Joho have their security reinstated with immediate effect as per the guidelines issued by the Office of the Inspector General, which entitles all governors and senators to one escort officer and four officers to guard their residences. Wengine wapelekwe wakalinde wananchi. We, we cannot concern with ourselves with the security of only a couple of individuals, senator and a governor, na members of the National Assembly. We must concern ourselves with the security of all. When you withdraw 15 security members, you are jeopardizing the collective security of our people. 15 members, 15 armed officers is a police post. Wajua sisi uswinye tu mesefanya auditietu. As a person, for instance, when the governor of Mombasa County moves, he has two uh, police cars ahead. Ikona officers wanne, wawili wana maji three. Kuna ye mwenye katika gari, akona yule wake pali. Na ya zake mbili moja kifu, hapa on the west na moja mguni. Alafu kuna ile gari ya nyuma inaofuata. Una police karibu wanne watano ingide. You, you collect those guns. They are about 12 to 13 guns. Alafu kuna sasa marafiki. Sasa wanofuata ile convoy. Whenever there is any function. Karibu kume kumna tano. Wote wambe babunduki. That are, those are 30 guns every time there is movement. What is the fear? You multiply that by bullets for either a Cessna or browning, or other forms of pistol that carry between 12 to 13 bullets. Those are about 500 bullets. That's an armory. The, <laughs> the only person who has more superior firepower than that type of an establishment, I doubt is even the deputy president, is the president. Sasa wewe batishwa kwa jilia wewe wa msapoti Raila Odinga. Raila Odinga mwenye mpolisi wane. Where the, the, yule, the, it's the case of the bereaved, the, 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 the crying louder than the bereaved. Mm. <laughs> so this conversation on security has come now, and we want it to be dispensed of. Hapa Mombasa, kama makumbuka, li mwambia Raila Odinga, asije kutoa cheki za basari za elfu nne. Na hivu hivu na mwambia uhuru kenyato, sijo kufungua footbridge hapa. 
we don't care who funded it nyi mstuteze share bwana watu wafanywa makubwa makubwa hii moja kutufungulia kibridge hakuna hata yapandaye upige hivi 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 shafika risiki sound alafu tumkatwa shindana nane ya njenga mbebe mimi mbebe mimi eh kama pesa zintolewa kweli 10 to 2010 bridge intolewa 2010 yajengwa 2016 what uh, what economics are those for world bank eh something also doesn't make sense somewhere what economics are those you have to always submit a financial year report and what monies are not used they are, they are, they are taken back what economics are those tukawa siasa zetu nzabunduki na footbridge ndani ya Mombasa please focus us on the right issues